Hey guys! So today I'm going to talk about a lipstick that has been so intriguing to me and I have found it at this store called Riley Rose. I hadn't really actually heard of this store but it's like a beauty store that has I think like indie brands because it didn't look like Tarte was there or Benefit or Maybelline or any of that sort. It kind of looked like indie brands or smaller brands kind of. It had Lime Crime, Winky Lux, and some other brands that look Korean as well as like glitter injection because they had like these I I fascinated. Um they have like these uh injections. Like they're this big and thick and um it says glitter injection and they also have like little IV bags. Those are really, really cool and fun to play with. Um they have like a bunch of those things that you see like on Instagram kind of a thing, but they also carry like school supplies that are cute. It's like a little Hello Kitty stationery with an indie brand makeup store combined. Regardless, it's not like I'm giving a Riley Rose um, review or anything. I want to try out something that I saw there which is PH Bombs. And honestly, I had heard of these from my mom. She said that my grandma in El Salvador would buy these things kind of like pH bombs that she, you know, the lipstick would be green and she'd put it on and it'd be like pink. So I had heard of them and I knew they existed from like, it, like the frog prints or something. And then I knew that they had a yellow one too that turned from yellow to pink. But those were, you know, higher up. Um, brands and I remember I went to Ulta and like I played with it once and it just it didn't do anything like I wasn't like wow I really want to spend twenty dollars on this so originally I was going for like a lip gloss that was green with glitter and it would turn pink but then I saw this this is the Winky Lux watermelon jelly and um, it is a transforming pH balm. So I guess that it changes with each skin, like pH. So technically, it shouldn't be the same color like on another person. I mean, it could be if we shared like the same pH. And usually um, humans are around the same pH. Um, but still, it it should be probably a little different if someone's pH is lower or higher or whatever, right? Maybe like if someone just drank milk, you guys know how like milk is acidic? Huh, maybe I should try that. It's cruelty free and it expires in 12 months. So that's pretty good. Um, and it cost me $14. And here is the cute little product and I love it because it actually looks like a really big pill look at that isn't that the cutest like honestly that is adorable so they have other ones like this isn't the only ph bomb like i said there was a lip gloss and there was also like a clear lip balm with like a flower inside i had seen those like on little uh like wish or aliexpress kind of a thing but here you go and it says watermelon jelly transforming ph bomb of thing so here it is, and as you guys can see, I don't know if you guys like can really, really see that, but it is a really, really like clear jelly. You see? You guys can see? Yeah. So let me see. Like if I were to put, let's see, a pen behind it, can we see it? Yeah, you see? So yeah, it is a clear lipstick. So I'm going to get real close and see and Lance works and I'm sorry guys I honestly woke up with my hair looking like a maid I didn't put cream on it I didn't want to straighten it today I'm just letting my mane do its thing but let's see and I'm sorry guys I don't I don't have anything I haven't put like lip scrub today or anything this is my natural pH okay let's see Oh, not looking at a mirror, but that changed. Oh, yeah. Mm. And it's very balmy. Let, let me get a mirror. Hold up. And it is very balmy. It is very, like, it's like if you have butter on your lips, but it's not, 
like abusing either you guys know those like like lip balms you guys have or um not lip balms but like those lip glosses that you do it and like you can like see like the separation of it it's not like that at all and it's not sticky um yeah, it's not like a it's not an abusive balm that's like what i want to say but let's see in my hands because i feel that in my hand you guys could probably see it better so because it should work on my hand do i see anything Okay, honestly, me seeing it here, this thing is bright pink. Like, it's this color. But I don't know if, like, when I'm editing... Oh, there it is. I'll be able to see it, but this lighting is just not letting me show you guys. Oh, this is amazeballs to me. I like it. Um, Honestly, if they wouldn't be $14... And I know $14 isn't, like, a crazy amount of money, but still for someone broke i don't have anybody else to test it on because i am in the house alone and i wish i would have someone else so they could like test it on and they we could see if like it's darker or brighter but i can tell you that it is a lot more brighter and maybe like it's not red but i would say more towards the red on my lips than it is on my hand on my hand, it's more like of a pink, like a real pink. I don't know if it's because of the undertone of my lips. That could have a lot to do. Um, I don't know if the pH in my arms is different from the ones in my lips. But you know who does know? Google. Google knows. So let's check Google. I googled was the skin pH change in the body, and what I got is... Skin's location on the body can also affect its pH and certain skin conditions. The external factors that stress skin include changes in temperature and humidity, dirt, and pollution. Let me see. I'm not going to do a touch-up. I'm going to go out and about. I know I have to go to Target. Um, so let me go to Target, come back, and I'll do a check-in to see if my lips are still nice and hydrated and colorful or if this is just something that's gonna last two seconds. Alrighty? Hey guys, so I'm doing a quick little update right now. It is 1.15 and I filmed that video like around 10. I didn't check specifically the time, but it was like around 10. Um, and as you guys can see, I still have it. Um, it's still, my lips still feel super smooth. I haven't ate, I've just drank water. They don't feel as smooth as like initially, but I mean, I get that it's probably like synced into my you know into my lips or something but yeah no this is the one I put in my hand um and I have put on a long sleeve and taken it off and I've you know driven like right now my hand is literally on the table and it's still there so it's not a stain like I wouldn't say it's a stain but it does leave something behind which is nice. What do you guys think about these new pH lip balms that are hitting the market from these amazing indie brands? Um, do you guys like them? Not like them? Leave your thoughts, comments, whatever. Um, and yeah, hopefully you guys like the video. Uh, like it, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, whatever you want. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.